Hey folks, today I'm going to show you inside the Nokia MD12, that's Mic Delta-12 wireless Bluetooth speaker. This is a perfectly working unit, um, but I wanted to show you inside it. So, And I also had to take the bottom silicon rubber off to replace it because it was slightly convex on the, outside, on the bottom, it was wobbling. So I'm going to put a new bottom on it. You can see underneath, it's got lots and lots of glue on it. Very, very strong glue, probably super glue. And there's two screw holes, one there one there and here are the screw types this is a screw not sure what to thread type there inside you see there is a little base transducer at the bottom well quite a beefy base transducer actually it really thumps out the base from the bottom of the device and that is then wired onto the circuit board via the brown and the white cables here whoops these cables coming up from the bottom. They're just taped onto the battery here and go onto the motherboard, circuit board. Um, what's quite interesting is, which I actually expected from reading someone else's uh, teardown of a previous unit, is the battery inside is a Nokia uh, phone battery. This one is a BL by, uh, Bravo Lima 5 Charlie phone battery. I'm not sure what model that's from. It was obviously to be expected from Nokia, who actually are a phone manufacturer. It's going to be, it stands to reason they'd put one of their batteries inside. Um, so, yeah, here's the top half of the device. You'll see here, let me get a better angle on this. You'll see, if I get my pointing stick, if I can find one. You'll see here is the loudspeaker, the top speaker with the plus and minus wires. It's not a very good angle there. Further in, this foam cable here, well this, this cable protected by screening and foam, that's the microphone for the hands-free functionality. So there we go, that's not very exciting. That is the the logic board, or circuit board, whatever you want to call it, there's the audio input which you use from external source if you want to use it as a non Bluetooth speaker. There's a charging port, micro USB, no data connection, just a charging port. And well, there's the plastic chassis which holds the battery in. Not much else to show you really. I opened it with an ISSMO tool, a very, very good tool. I basically opened it by if I show you, I pulled all this rubber off the bottom, removed these two screws which were coming up this way, and then got the ISSMO and slid it down the side very carefully, very you know, right to a very, very shallow depth, slid it down the side of the mesh and sort of prized upwards all the way around to get this open. Still working. I'm not a destroyer of gadgets. It's, it, don't destroy my technology. I've got years of experience. I've been electronic engineer since I was about 15, and I'm now, now 40 years old. So didn't want to break it really. So there we have it. I'm not sure what's on the other side of the logic board. Um, oh, by the way, this little thing here, this little green thing here, that's an NFC tag. I think it's an active one as well because when you let me show you. Well, I can't show you. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone that I'm, I'm actually uh, the phone I'm recording with has actually got NFC. Oh, hang on a minute. Is NFC tag here? What if that will do it? No, that doesn't work. Okay, that's an NFC tag there. Anyway, that is inside. I can get a better view of the microphone now. There we go. There's the microphone capsule just sitting in that recess there. Hope you can see that. So I'm not sure what uh, chipset this is using or what's inside. I don't want to take it apart anymore. Just thought I'd give you a quick look around inside for your interest. Certainly in a curious bit of kit. Yeah, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this all, all this glue on the bottom, this, uh, this uh, scrap bit of silicon hanging on here, clean it off and put some more, a different sort of pad on the bottom, more, um, I don't know, I'm going to think about it. But it was the, the middle of it was was convex, so it was sort of wobbling around. It doesn't seem to be now. It seems to be perfectly flat. But the actual uh, the actual uh, silicon seemed to be protruding um, in the middle, so it wasn't 
seeing a flat and flush. So there we have it. I think the battery is removable. Yes, there's a, you see there, that's actually a standard battery holder. Well, a custom made job, but it's just the battery just slots in. So what's that there? Ah, this here must be the Bluetooth antenna. So a strip line antenna there. I'll try and get the board out, board out if I can. It's not too much hassle. There we go. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Okay, so I managed to get the adhesive tape off the wires. Well, it's just basically foam tape, fiber fiber tape, which is stuck down to hold the wires down. But I removed that because that's just holding them down, so they don't get strained. Inside this device, you can see the rest of the circuit board now. It's using a chip called Air. What's that called? Aeroha. Aeroha, I think. Let's get the magnifying glass out. Let's get this right the right way up. Whoops. Can't see anything with that on. What's called an A B one five one one Aeroha. That's a Bluetooth module here. This is a just an off-the-shelf Bluetooth module with the aerial there. Um, there's your power switch there, which is this part of the front here. NFC tag. I've carefully prized that off. It's just stuck with double-sided tape stuck to the stuck to the uh, this area here on the plastic chassis. The battery. I did try and prize out the holder, but it wouldn't come out. I probably. I think it's probably held in with double-sided tape, and there's no point pulling it out. It's just a foam battery. Um, you see the contacts there. And they're exposed, waiting for the contacts on the circuit board here. So, what else have we got here? We've got not a lot really. A load of surface mount transistors. No doubt it's far more complex than I'm making out. I don't know what this thing's got in it. Let's have a see what this can get. What can we get on here? No, nothing. That that lens is very dirty. Very dirty indeed. What's got? On? What have we got here? Uh, an AX AKS TI 411 whatever that is anyway that is inside the Nokia MD12 Mike Delta 12 let's get the serial number while we get the chance to let's do the part 584789 1099B hyphen 2. That's the PCB number. Um, what's on the back? SL Echo 234156 SLHD. <clears throat> anything else? Any signs of anything else? No, not really. That is the Nokia MD12. Wireless Bluetooth speaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tear down. Part two. Let's look at this speaker. What's the number on that? Well, that's, that's an eight ohm speaker for a start. Eight ohms, one watt. Can't quite see what that says on there. Foster. Foster. Is that Foster? It's not lobster, is it? <laughs> lobster. Foster. Ah, just noticed something here. These little heat welded um, translucent light guides here are for LEDs, of which there will be two on the board for power charging and power status and Bluetooth blinking, which shine basically when it's uh, being paired or when it's connected or etc. The LEDs shine through the mesh here. The glow through the mesh, so you can see what the status of the speaker is. Let me see if I can find these quickly. Um, or perhaps there's only one. Let me have a look. It could be, yeah, it's probably these two here D502 and D3. 
303, 303, 303, D303, and D302. That one there looks like a dual color one, so that'll be the charging power one. And that's a blue, that's a blue one, I'm guessing. That's for the um, pairing and sync status. Anyway, there we go. Waffle on far too much. Enjoy your evening or your day. God bless you. Thanks for watching. By the way, the battery is a BL5C. If I didn't already say that. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.